Hi guys, this is Clara Hudson of Wall They Play Designs. And on today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to do a sewn tubular bind off in the round. So if you take a look here, I have a piece that I'm working in the round. And I just have a few stitches here, just so I can demonstrate this to you guys. So this could be a glove or a hat, and you would have more stitches, but they are worked in the round. And if you take a look here at the bottom of my work, you can see that I did a tubular cast on where the stitches just appear to roll over the work. And our sewn tubular bind off is going to mirror that cast on. So we're gonna bind off all these stitches in the round. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. First thing we wanna do is cut our yarn so that we can sew the stitches when we bind them off. And in order to do that, you wanna take your working yarn and measure out about four times the circumference of your piece. So I usually, when I'm working on Magic Loop, I just wrap that around my fingers here to kind of mimic the, the circumference of my piece. So I go around once, twice, three, about four times. Three or four is all you need. And then we're gonna cut our working yarn And then you're going to pass your yarn through a large eye tapestry needle. This is just a little easier to work your stitches on. And then I like to pull my yarn about halfway just so I don't have a super long tail that I have to contend with. Okay, and since I am doing magic loop, and even if you are just using a small set of circular needles in the round, you wanna take that back needle and drop it so it's not in your way. You don't wanna catch your working yarn on it. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is a setup before we start binding these stitches off. So to set up, you're gonna take a look at your left-hand needle and Normally you'll have a knit stitch to begin with. If not, just work a, a purl stitch in your round and then you'll be ready to go with your knit stitch. So to set this up, we're gonna insert our tapestry needle from right to left, so purl wise, through that first stitch and we're gonna draw it through and you're gonna tighten up where your stitch is coming off that previous stitch, okay? So I kinda like to pinch these together. So we purled that first knit stitch. We leave it on the needle. Now we're gonna rotate here to the back and we're gonna insert our needle between the first and second stitch. And we're not catching any loops there, if you can see. We're only just passing through. Now we're gonna rotate our needle and go in knitwise through the second stitch on the needle. So I'm only catching that front loop. And then you're gonna pass that through and then tighten up your work. So we've went in purlwise on the first stitch, brought our needle to the front and went in knitwise through the second stitch. So that is our setup. Now we're ready to bind off our stitches. So the first step we're going to do is we're going to go in knitwise in the first stitch, slip that off the needle, and then we're gonna go in purlwise through this now second stitch on our left hand needle and push that through. Okay, and now we're ready for the next step, which is to go in purlwise on the first stitch on our needle, slip that off, and then just as we did before, we're gonna bring our needle between the two stitches on the left hand knitting needle, and then we're gonna go in knitwise through that second stitch and then pull tight. And that is the end of our sequence. So again, we go in knitwise through the first stitch, slip it, go in purlwise through now the second stitch on our left hand needle, leave that on because you kind of have to. And then the next part is to go in purlwise through the first stitch, slip it, bring the needle to the front here and if you want, you may find it's easier to just pull it through before going through the second stitch knitwise, like so. And we're done with that sequence. So you can see here, if I twist my work, we're binding these stitches off. 
by sewing them. So I'm going to show you a couple more times here. And you will always start with a, a knit stitch as your first stitch. Knit wise slip, purl the second stitch, leave it on. Purl wise slip, and then go between the stitches and go in knit wise through that second stitch. And then we're done with that sequence. So knit, slip, purl. Purl, slip, knit. And then this is where it can get a little tricky if you're working magic loop. So I'll show you what we do here. I'm gonna run out of stitches when I slip this first stitch off and go in purl wise to this one. So I'm just gonna pull my needle through like so. And then place all my stitches on this needle. Then you're ready to continue with that sequence. Slip or knit wise slip purl, purl wise slip knit. So I'm gonna do that across these stitches until I get to the very last couple stitches. And then I'll show you what to do at that point. Okay, so I've reached the last four stitches. So I'm gonna do that sequence again. Knit, slip, purl. Purl wise, slip, knit. Okay, so I have two stitches left on my needle. And at this point, I'm going to stretch my work so that I can see the very first stitch I went into knit wise and slipped. I just wanna show you how that looks. We're actually going to work in to that last knit loop. And I'll show you how we're gonna do that with this last sequence. So we'll go in to this second to last stitch knit wise, slip it. And then we're gonna go in purl wise through that final bind off loop. And leave that on the needle. And then purl wise, slip. And if you remember, we went in knit wise between the knit stitch and the purl stitch. So I'm just gonna come back here into this little, into the inside of the purl stitch, that second stitch that we bound off of the round. And then, get this where you can see it, and then I'm just gonna pass my needle through the top of that purl stitch, just to secure it. And if you take a look here, we have bound off those stitches to mimic that tubular cast on. So our tubular bind off mirrors our tubular cast on. And if we work around our round, you can barely see where the first stitch was bound off and the second or the first and last. And you can even neaten these up a little bit with your needle. Um, and of course, w once you block, this will all kind of even itself out too. But then at this point, you would just bring the needle to the wrong side of your work and just weave that into your, into your work until the tail disappears. I'll just cut my yarn. I'll show you that is how we do the sewn tubular bind off in the round. So I hope this video helps you guys out. Thanks so much for watching.